Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, Web Designers and Creators. In today's video, we'll be diving into an important aspect of website compilations, adding a cookie constant banner to your Webflow site. As privacy regulation become more stringent, it's crucial to provide visitors with clear information about the cookie used in your site or on your site and obtain their consent. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of adding a cookie constant banner to your Webflow site in just a few simple steps. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. And of course, let's start by the step one, which is choose a cookie constant too. So to add a cookie constant banner to your Wix, sorry, not Wix, I mean a Webflow site, you will need a, real, a reliable uh, cookie constant too. There are various options available, both free and paid, research and choose the tool that suits your need and pro that provides the necessary features for compliance, compliance, such as customizable banners, cookie scanning and constant management. So now, of course, we'll have to go to the Webflow uh, website that right away. So simply just go to this URL section once you open whatever browser you would like to use in this tutorial and type webflow.com and hit the enter button. Of course, if you have an account, make sure to click on login. And if you don't have an account, make sure to click on uh, getting started, which will prompt you. And you will need to follow, of course, the steps or the prompts that's going to appear to you. Once you do that, you'll find yourself on something like this once you log in or you created your account and once you created your site as well. Now, of course, we'll have to go again and open university. Sorry, university.webflow.com and hit the enter button. And of course, here, if you're already signing into your account right here, this you will find yourself already signed in. As you can see, I'll have to sign out if I want, but we don't want to. So simply here, I'll just click on more, then click on integrations. Here, as you can see, you will find integration resources, find the resource and support the documentation you need to connect your tools to your Webflow site. So here we will have a lot of integration uh, types. So search for whatever you want, or you can simply use the search all integrations option here we would like to type cookie sorry not like that cookie constant and as you can see we will have three plugins or apps that can do that for us so as we said before make your research and of course look for what's better for you as you can see from here you can read the description of any of them and as you can see provide do is free with flow cookie constant solution makes your websites compliance Compliance, sorry, with global privacy law, likes e privacy, GDPR, and CCPA. And there is the cookie constants by security AI. Generate a cookie banner and notice for your website to comply with GDPR, CCPA, and Pipe DA and e privacy. And the last one is cookie constants by Succidence Insights. Customize and download your free cookie constants notification banner. So here, choose whatever suits you. As an example, I'm just going to choose maybe this one, the first one. So as you can see here, you can simply go and click on this view listens and they will tell you everything about this. So you can see videos here and you can know how to do it exactly, how to connect this right away to your Webflow. Or you can simply click on view websites. And as you can see, you can simply get started for free. You will do everything for you. You will just have to copy some cookies or some code and paste it on your Webflow. Uh, or sorry, Webflow website. As an example, let's just use this. Click on Get Started. Start for free. And here we'll have to create an account. So let's just do this as an example. Fill the name here with something like that. And something like that. This, this, gmail.com. And the password, maybe it's going to be something like that. And the website, let's just say it's this one or something like that so make sure to write our correct websites here i'm just going to do something like random here as an example and okay if they need this then let's just do this and let's say if it, they will accept now and of course let's just click on create and okay let me just uh, confirm that it should not take a lot of time boom verify address 
and I guess I'm going to be good to go. Yeah, I'll have to simply re-enter my password again and we will be good to go, I guess, if we use this uh, application as an example. Of course, we can use another one uh, from here. We can use as an example this one. It will be the same. We'll have to view lessons of your websites or we can use this cookie constants and it will be the same. So as you can see, if you click here or even if you use this and click here, you'll be able to do that from their website. So let's just close this because we choose to do this. And here we are. We should be logging in into our account soon. Let's just close this. So once you log in, of course, you'll see the website that you entered here. For me, I, as I said, I entered a random website. And of course, let's just see as an example here what you should do. So it's going to be pretty simple on, uh, as we said, you will have to click on view listen. Once you uh, created your account, you will have to simply choose your, your website from here as he did. And then simply you'll be able to add the cookies wherever you want. It's going to be pretty simple. Then you'll normally go back to your website here and you can preview it from another browser. As an example, as an example, just go and open another website then come here to your website from another browser and see if the cookies is completely working and everything is cool you can even use like uh, something that is known which is terms feed so go to the first link and of course let's just sign up into the account and here we'll have to do this so let me just do it and i'm coming back or let's just do it uh, together so it will not take a lot of time here we will have to fill our email and here I'll have to do the password and redo the password and click on sign up and save as an example of course we'll have to confirm click on the first link and activate our account simply our account is activated now and we'll have to wait a bit. Simply, as you can see, our account is activated. Please log in to continue. So we'll have to log in again. So just do that. Remember me and log in. And as you can see, you will find yourself here. So click on cookies consent. And here you'll have to enter your site again. And what's your website domain? The next step, of course, you will have to simply do some simple steps. Then you will have to copy a code. That code, you will have to be place it here. Click on settings, go back to Webflow go to custom code and here click uh, add a site plan because if you don't have a plan you will not be able to add your code so once you click on add a site plan of course get the standard one it's enough i guess unless you want more then you'll be able to paste the code wherever you want on the footer on the header and you'll be good to go so once you add the code to your Webflow uh, site, you will have to customize and test the cookies consents banner. So preview your website to see the cookies consents banner in action, ensure that appears correctly and everything is good. And of course, if needed, you can even customize the banner appearance further by adjusting the CSS or using the option provided by the cookie consent tool. So if you make it this far, congratulations. So if you make it this far, congratulations. You successfully added a cookie consents banner to your website. Or to your Webflow site, ensuring compliance with privacy regulation and providing transparency to your visitors. Remember, it's essential to regularly review and update your cookie policy and keep track of your cookie used on your site. By proper by prioritizing uh, user privacy and concerns, you will build trust with your audience. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more web design tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and happy design, Nain on Webflow. And I will see you in the next one.